Hey, it's Dave Meddendorp. Most of you have gotten one of these in the mail if you own a house. And it says, this is not a tax bill. So what this is, is it's a assessment notice um, from the city that you live in. And a lot of people have questions about this. So the first thing I want to show you is this is how much your tax is going to go up this year. So this one's for my house and it's going to go up $138. So people wonder about these values. There's a taxable value and that's the amount that you're paying taxes on. So with my house, last year the assessed value or the taxable value was 61,383. This year it's 64,977. So it went up $3,094. That's the maximum amount that the value could go up during a calendar year. So I'm paying taxes on a $129,000 or $130,000 house. But then we have the next numbers. That is the assessed value. That's the value that the assessor is saying that my house is worth. So last year, the assessor thought it was worth 261, but this year it went up $54,000. And um, it says that the value is 186. So I would double that for the fair market value of my house. And that would be about 360. Um, so anyways, the good thing is there was not a change of ownership. So the property didn't become uncapped, and so I'm only paying taxes on the taxable value. If I had sold my house, it would have been kind of uncapped, and there would have been a thing here that said that it's sold, and the new owner would pay something between the taxable value I'm paying today and the total assessed value. So it's nice to know that my house is worth over $300,000, according to the assessor. And usually the assessor runs low on the value. Um, so you should always get a second opinion from me or your favorite realtor. Um, there's a couple other things you should know. Um, let's say that your taxable value is more than what your house is worth. Um, so in my case, it says my house is worth $128,000. Now, if my house is really only worth 90, I could go to the Board of Review, which is listed on the bottom of this form, and I could bring in whatever evidence I want, and I could present it to the Board of Review, which are other people, taxpayers that live in the area. And they've been trained, and they would... Um, decide that if your property was over assessed. So if mine was worth a hundred, I'd bring in pictures of houses down the street that sold for a hundred thousand dollars. And I'd say, look, everyone else is selling their house for 90 and you're saying mine's worth 130. So they would consider that information and they might make a correction on the form. Um, you can also order an appraisal. You can get a broker price opinion from a real estate agent. Um, but you, in my opinion, you only want to go to the Board of Review if the value that they are having you pay taxes on is a lot more than what it really is. And in most cases today, the taxable value is going to be way under market. Like my house is worth over 300000 and they've got me paying taxes on a hard 20, so I'm very happy. So that's the um, that's what this forum's about. Um, it's really important that if you want to appeal what you're paying in taxes, that you appear when it's listed. So this one's for the city of Muskegon, and it says Monday the 13th um, and March 16th. In March 14th, there's specific times, and it says, please call for an appointment. So you should always call for an appointment. It's possible if you show up, they'll um, 
let you present your case because that's their goal, but they'd like to have um, people make appointments so they can see people in an organized fashion. Um, if you live out of the area, you can do a letter appeal. Um, and even if you live in the area, some municipalities will accept a letter appeal. And so if the Board of Review reviews your information and they make the changes that you're satisfied with, you're done. If they don't, um, you have an option to appeal their decision to the state of Michigan. And you have to do that by the end of May. So in most cases, if you got one of these in the mail, your property is under assessed. You're not paying taxes on the value of your house because values have went up so quick lately that um, the assessor um, has not changed your value. The people that are hit the most are the people that just bought a house last year. And because it changed hands, um, it can become uncapped and they can actually raise it to their real market value. So if somebody bought a house this last year, you know, they might pay twice as much as the former homeowner. And hopefully their agent told them that was a possibility when they were buying the house. So it's not a big surprise. So if you have any questions about this form, um, contact your local assessor or you can give me a call and I can help bring some clarity to the situation. Take a picture of your assessment card, um, text it over to me. I'll look at it and then I'll go over it with you. So um, my name is Dave Meddendorp. I've been selling real estate for 35 years and I've spent a lot of time studying taxation and how it works. So I'd be happy to help you if I can. My number is 231-206-3367. Thank you.